thanks for checking out my channel and watching today's video. If you're new, welcome, and if you've checked out my videos before, welcome back. Today I am going to show you guys the OG blanket I made using the Yarnspirations pattern. It's using the Bernay Velvet, and it turned out so fantastic. So here we, here it is, it's pretty large, and it turned out really nice. I'm seeing one of my tassels is coming in, but I hadn't made tassels before, so it was kind of cool to get to make them, but you can see the colors are beautiful and it has this really cool effect because of that you were, you're working into the back loops for the double crochets. So it's, if I'm holding it the right way. Yeah, it's textured. So it almost, look, it looks a bit textured going all the way down. And then we have the tassels at the bottom. Now I made a first few, some tassels, not thinking, and I cut to the bottom. So I just watched um, a video about how to make them because I hadn't made them before, but the pattern actually said not to cut them and leave the loops. But I ran out of this, um, the indigo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is the indigo. And so I just had to leave some that were cut, but that's okay. So I'm gonna be giving this as a gift. And it, is, it has a nice weight to it, like the velvet yarn is heavier. You really need to watch your tension. I have another video where I kind of talk about that because it's really easy to end up with loops. And then this yarn is hand wash only. And I've heard for the Velvet Plus, it's not as slippery, but for this yarn, you would definitely want to ensure that you're hand washing it and you're not putting it in that machine or the dryer because it really will come on, undone on you. But if, you're, if you've been thinking about giving this one a try, I highly recommend it. The actual pattern is quite easy once you get the hang of it. And then just try to get those ends in as you go. And then the only thing I would recommend is really watch the, the one end where you're doing a slip stitch into. It's really easy for it to get tight. So I had that issue here. You can see it, it should be flat and it's kind of curving because I was doing the slip stitches way too tight and I realized that near the beginning. So I was able to get that fixed out and fix it at the end. So I had a little bit of yarn left over. I'll measure this right now and we'll see how big it is versus maybe what the pattern said. Uh, it would depend on your tension, which hook you ended up using, and if you checked your gauge. I didn't check my gauge, I just went for it. But I highly recommend it. The, the colors are really, whew, are beautiful, and it is a really nice effect, and it's a nice heavy blanket. So for winter, or if you're kind of wanting almost like one of those compression blankets, this would be kind of nice because it has more weight to it than a normal blanket. So let's see how big this is. So we just measured the blanket. It is about 48 inches in width and about 65 inches in length. So I think that's an excellent size. It will cover a full person. I just lie down on it and it does fit me. And you can see here how nice those colors look and really pop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I highly recommend giving this pattern and this blanket a try. Like I said, it works up really nice. The yarn, it's pretty nice to get to work with. It's so soft. It's so luxuriously soft. Just watch that tension, watch that one end, and I definitely think you guys will be happy with this blanket and with this yarn. If you've made this blanket, please let me know below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think and if you enjoyed making it and really just what you thought about it. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I have another blanket in the works and I will give you guys an update on that one and let you know what else I'm working on soon. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.